Hello there. So what I have here is uh, the brake parts. And I have all the lines completed. I have the main line to go from the brake unit to the manifold. And I have the brackets that attach it to the unit. And I have the actual brake parts I made before. And what I was going to do was I was going to go ahead and install the brake fluid and attach the lines and then have to bleed the brake fluid through the unit, through the lines, into some kind of bucket to get the air out and then attach them to the actual piston part, the actuator part, and it's gonna it's gonna be a little messy. And that was my plan, but something came up, and I have a new idea and I want to kind of put this on hold because once I put the brake fluid in these parts I really need to uh, install it because I don't want it sitting here for a long time so I have a new idea and I'll show you what that idea is So I'm going to get back to you when I get that ready. Okay, bye. So I wanted to show you the idea I had. So I put those uh, brake parts on hold. And I put these cylinders up here. They, uh, this piece rides in there, and it, this is the same thing here, the cylinder, as that. This one goes on the, this one goes on the other side. But anyway, this piece rides in here. And that's going to lock this top unit to the frame. And then this holding unit up here is going to lock this unit to that, which also locks it to the frame. Now I have uh, the brake parts, the actuators for underneath here. Are still going to go there, but I'm I don't have them on now. And uh, the reason behind that, this new setup, is because I talked about this plastic before being honeycomb. It might not allow. It, it might uh, contribute to a little vibration because it's not solid it's all honeycomb but nevertheless this wasn't that bad of an idea and it wasn't that hard so anyway i did it and we'll see what happens but the uh i ended up making a new frame for these pieces this is the old frame and, uh, you know, I butchered them up pretty good because I miscalculated the distance of those holes. But they were acceptable. But then when I... I put 
this piece in there, which that little piston in there, it gives it more surface area. I put this piece in there on the old one and the gap was too small. I mean, there was, it was just barely enough room for it to move. And the reason I did that is because I used this piece of stock. And there was a piece of angle, and this is the end here. So I had to put those holes in as close to the end as I could. And nevertheless, the, the, the piston was further towards the banking point and that, then the gap was too close so I needed to move this piston unit back further here but I couldn't hear because there was no stock left it was too short it wasn't too short at the time but I thought it would work but it didn't so I ended up getting a longer piece of stock and it was actually quite long and I had to cut it down and mill it and do all kinds of stuff which I really didn't want to do but I ended up having to do it because I wanted it to work and it wouldn't work with this shorter shorter piece so I had to make it longer so I could take this unit and move it back give it more gap up front because when the piston activates it needs to move so the springs can retract it to put some tension on the springs because if it's too far back too far up it won't retract because the springs you know they, there's no tension on them so i had to put tension on the spring so it would retract but it was too close and it wouldn't retract properly and so, long story short, I had to make a new frame. I had to move this piece back further, give it more gap up front. So now we have something that's acceptable here. But what I was thinking was that since I had this piece on my auxiliary workbench, because my other bench is too crowded. Because before I used to have to, I couldn't lay it flat on the bench. I had to take this piece and clamp it to the table. And then this piece was always hanging out towards me. But now that I have it sitting on this auxiliary slash coffee table thing, this folding chair, folding table thing, I was looking at it and I thought, well, you know, I went through all the trouble to make this this frame to mount on the table so that it would fit on the table and I thought well I could have I could have just come down with some pieces <clears throat> and went straight over and then do the same thing on the other side and then somewhere you know where the table is I could have just bolted it to the table basically making like a, a little U kind of thing going on here and bolting it to the table. Some type of, I won't say box, but, you know, if I had a piece coming down here and then bending in, and then another piece on the other side coming down, bending in, I could have just bolted it over here and over here, and I wouldn't have to go through all that trouble of, making these parts which would have saved about six weeks worth of work so at the time it didn't even dawn on me because i didn't visualize this piece laying flat on a table and i guess i was just focused on what I was doing and I wasn't thinking about any alternative methods of mounting this and but that's uh that's what I'm thinking now is I'll make a, a frame 
and just a square frame and mount it to the table, it'd be a whole lot easier. And then when this unit isn't in use, I could just unbolt it and take it down and it would have a stand to mount on as to where this piece here, you know, I'd have to unbolt it from the bottom, keep the top bolted in, and I could lay it down that way, but I mean, this was a lot of work doing all that bending and shaping and cutting and had it lasered out and so that's what I'm thinking and why I'm putting a hold on those brakes is I want to take this unit and leave it here so I can take some measurements off of it so I can make a, a frame for it and it might be a little stiffer than what these bent pieces are but um yeah, now that these pieces are completed, and they're all, I got the little uh, mounting screws up here to hold that plate in there. They were, uh, these pieces here I made, it's a, well, I said before it was a quarter 20, but it's really a quarter 28. So I just turned the end down and I threaded this piece into that piece and into this other plate I made to hold the back of it. But, um, yeah, just a piece I, uh, it was a set screw. And I just turned the end down and threaded that into there. And the uh, disc rides on that turned down portion. But that's my my thought now and then uh when i get the measurements on the frame i can put this back together and maybe put it back on the machine using these old mounts while i have the new mounts being made so anyway i just wanted to show that to you because uh, making that new frame would be a whole lot easier than doing that bent thing i mean it works but uh just a straight straight 90 would work a lot better okay bye